This video is part two of our barcode scanning tutorial for Standard Time. And we're going to show how you can use a barcode scanning tool to start and stop a timer to represent the work that you do in your business. The video will be broken up into three levels. Level one, level two, and level three showing a very simple application all the way up to a more advanced application. So I'm going to press the F4 key to open up the barcode window and you'll recognize this window from the first video. This is where employees would start and stop a timer by pointing the barcode scanner at a barcode and scanning time. I'm going to close out of this, go into the tools menu and choose users and organization. First, we're going to create users that represent employees in the company. So you can see that I have a few in here already. I can go to the Tools menu, choose New User. Over on the right-hand side, I can name that user and press the Tab key. So now you can see that I have multiple users on the left-hand side. Each one of those would use the scanner to start and stop the timer. After creating each of the users, I can close out of this dialog box and I will then go to the Tools menu and choose Categories to set up the various types of work that I'll be doing. You can see I already have a short list of categories that represent the very basic types of work that I'll be doing. And these all apply to the printing business. To create a new one, I'll go to the Tools menu and choose New Category. Over in the right hand side, I can now name that and press the tab key. So I now have a new category and the users will be scanning barcode labels with these names on them to represent the work that they're doing. So I can go ahead and close out of this and since we're working on level one here, the very simplest application, I'm going to go to the tools menu, choose projects. I'm going to create a new project that represents a job. Actually in this case, because it's the very simplest level, we're going to create one job that can be used for everyone for all the work they ever do. Name that, press tab. You see the job over here. Now this is going to be printed on a barcode label and employees can walk up, scan their name, scan the category, and scan this job. So they will be recording all the required information to start the timer for the print job. In this case, all my print jobs are going to be covered under one project so that I don't have to create new projects for everyone. I'll go ahead and close out of this and then press the F4 key to open the barcode window. Now I've got everything I need. I have employees to scan, categories for the type of work I'll do, and one simple job named print jobs that will handle all the jobs that I'll ever do. Let me first of all switch over to Microsoft Word to show you what I've printed out. I've actually got these barcodes printed out and I'll be scanning those. You can see the employee name, the category, the job, and lastly the word stop to be able to stop the timer. And You can see that the font I'm using up here is one that I've downloaded from the internet. We'll switch back over to standard time and scan the employee name, category, and the job. So now the job is started. I can click on the time log and actually see a new record here. You see bold because the timer is running. Click on that, open it up, and you can see some of the properties for that. Some time has passed, so let's go ahead and press the F4 key, open up the barcode window, and scan the employee name, and then the word stop. That stops the timer. You can see that the record is no longer bold. I click on it, you can see that the actual time here is 0.28 hours. So employees will simply walk up to the computer, scan their employee name, a category, and a job, and that will start the timer. And then when they're finished, they'll scan the word stop, and that will stop the timer. And as they do, you'll see more time logs show up here in the time log view. You'll also see them over here in the time sheet. 
All right, now let's take this to the next level. We've shown how that you can create one single job and scan multiple categories to record the kinds of work you're doing, but all of that work goes into a single job. Let's assume you wanted multiple jobs to be able to record the actual work for each job. The way to do that would be to go to the Tools menu and choose New Project. Press Tab to name it. Again, to create another project, go to Tools, New Project. And now you have multiple jobs here. Press F4 to open the barcode window, and now you can scan the job name that you see here in the timesheet to record time to that actual job. You're still using the same categories that you used before, but now you're collecting time for each job that you're working on. The third way or most advanced way of using the timer would be with what we call project tasks. So I'm going to click on the project tasks tab and you can see a project that I've set up here and a few project tasks under it. Project tasks are used when you want to collect more information about the project. Usually these tasks will last several hours or days and will roll up to a project that is quite lengthy. Here you can see I have three tasks under this project there are estimated durations for each of these tasks the actual work will come from the scanner and these are based on the familiar categories that we saw earlier so as the employee scans these task names you will start and stop the timer for that task which includes the project and the category so to create a new project task you would go to the insert menu and choose new project task You would uh, see, first of all, that the project name is set and the category so that when you scan this name, it will actually start the timer for this project and the category. You'll probably also set a duration, which is your estimated time. And then click Save and Close. So now you see all of the project tasks. Each one has a duration. The actual work would come from the scanner. And so when you scan these, they will start the timer and you'll be collecting information for these project tasks. Again, it will show up in the timesheet and in the time log for each of the scans that you do.